Well, if you search Wikipedia for list of Microsoft softwares, then you might get to know that there are lots and lots up there under many subtitles. Well, while a few are well known like their OS, Windows or Microsoft PowerPoint, while there are many which you might have never heard of. It's a little confusing for everyone and there's not too any detailed guide for it. Hence in this video or in series of videos, I am gonna explain many of them. Never minding the alphabetical order, let's start with Office 365 applications. Well, there is Microsoft Access, which is a DBMS database management system that combines relational Microsoft Jet database engine with a graphical user interface. Simply MS Access is an information management tool that helps you store information for reference, reporting and analysis. Then there is Microsoft Excel. Microsoft Excel is a spreadsheet program that means it's used to create grids of text, numbers and formulas specifying calculations. That's extremely valuable for groups which use it to record expenditures and income, plan budgets, chart data and sufficiently present fiscal results. Also it features calculation graphic tools, pivot tables and macro programming. Now the major doubt is what's difference between Access and Excel. Both are quite important applications but their usage is different for different sets of people. While a financial analyst find Excel more useful since it allows them to create financial models using formulas, charts, graphs, etc. On the other hand, Access is more useful to small business owners since they need to deal with a lots of reports and queries. Now next in list is Microsoft OneNote. It is a program for free form information gathering and multi user collaboration. It gathers users notes, drawings, screen clipping and audio commentaries notes can be shared with OneNote over internet or a network. Next in list is MS Outlook where Microsoft call it a personal information manager. Primarily an email application, it also includes a calendar, task manager, contact manager, note taking and general. It can work as a standalone application or it can work with Microsoft Exchange server for multiple users in an organization, such as shared mailboxes. Next is Microsoft Power BI. It is a business intelligence platform that provides non-technical business users with tools for aggregating, analyzing, visualizing and sharing data. Power BI's user interface is fairly intuitive for users familiar with Excel and its deep integration with other Microsoft products makes it a very versatile self-service tool that requires little upfront training. Well, you might have heard a lot about PowerPoint, the presentation program. Well, it is the most successful application of MS Office since the 90s. It is a software application which is particularly used to present data and information by using text, diagrams with animations, images and transitional effects etc. in the form of slides. It helps people to better understood the idea or topic in front of audience practically and easily. Actually in easy words it's used for data and information visualization. Next is Microsoft Project. Microsoft Project is world's most popular project management software. The application is designed to assist the project managers in developing plans, assigning resources to tasks, tracking progress, managing budgets and analyzing workloads. Microsoft projects create critical part schedules. Schedules can be resource leveled. The chain is visualized in a Gantt chart. Well, next in list is Microsoft Publisher. Microsoft Publisher is an office application that allows you to create professional documents such as newsletters, postcards, flyers, invitations, brochures and more using built-in templates. After selecting one of publishers built-in templates, templates, one can add text and pictures as, desire, as desired before saving and printing the desired document. So on your next birthday party, don't forget to use publisher to make your cards. Office Sway is a presentation program and has had a general release in August 2015. It allows users to combine text and media to create presentable website. Users can pull content locally or over web. 
an unrelated web editing program in the evolution of web designers like Microsoft Front Page and Microsoft Expression Web. These programs, however, didn't include a method for hosting websites the way that Swear does. Swear sites are stored on Microsoft servers like linked to users accounts and can be viewed or edited through any web browser. The next in list is Microsoft Visio. Visio is a diagramming and vector graphics self application. It is used for many things that utilizes layout diagrams and charts. The graphics that are used in Visio are standard images utilized by flowcharts, design diagrams, playbooks and even network diagramming. diagramming. Microsoft purchased Visio from Visio Corporation in year 2000. Microsoft Word is another very famous program. It's a word processor and was first released in 1983 for Xenix systems. It, it is very popular word processing program and used primarily for creating documents such as letters, brochures, learning activities, test quizzes, students homework assignments. There are many simple but useful features available in, available in Word to make it easier for work and study. It has few great built-in options like header and footer, spelling check and correct tool and many more. So next time when you are given an exam or preparing an assignment, you must be knowing that it must have been prepared in Word. Another important application of the package is Skype for Business. In 2015, the software was rebranded from Link to Skype for Business. It is an easy to use interface software that allows users to communicate through text, chat, voice calls, video calls and online meetings. One can use Skype for Business from nearly any device, be it PCs, Macs or mobile phones, on campus or anywhere in the world where we have an internet access. Last of list is Microsoft Teams. It is a unified communication and collaboration platform that combines persistent workplace chat, video meetings, file storage, and application integration. The service not only integrates with Office 365 subscription, but also features extensions that can integrate with non-Microsoft products. It is the evolution and upgrade from Microsoft Skype for Business. Now you must be wondering that what's the difference or why Microsoft is making two products for same purpose that is Skype for Business and Microsoft Teams. Well, Skype for Business was designed to primarily support voice calls and video conferencing. Although Teams was designed as an all-round collaboration program offering chat, voice, storage and which can also support different niches. Now this was Office 365. You too might have heard of Office 2007, 2013, 2016 and Office 19. What's the difference between Office 365 and all the, those Office packages? So basically Office 365 is a subscription service that ensures you always have most up-to-date modern productivity tools from Microsoft. These are plans for, there are plans for almost everyone, it's from a small mid-sized mid-sized business, large enterprises, schools, non-profit organizations, to larger firms and everyone out there. Its home plan allows you to share up to six people over multiple PCs, tablets, phones. While someone, something like Office 19 or Office 16 is sold as one-time purchase, which means you pay for single upfront cost to get Office apps for one computer or one tablet or Mac. However, no upgrade options are available in this package. There is also a new mobile application of Office for Androids and iPhones. Well, this mobile application can be used for PDF viewing, Word, PowerPoint, Excel, opening, editing, creating, anything. It also has some features like Microsoft Office Notes and also Microsoft a scanner which can be used to scan PDFs, documents and etc on your mobile. Well this was all for today's video. In next video we will discuss about more Microsoft softwares and applications over there. So stay tuned, please like, comment and subscribe. Making such videos takes a lot of effort. So if you will subscribe to me it will be a 
एंकरेजमेंट एंड कॉन्फिडेंस बूस्टर फॉर मी थैंक्स